Let's see what Georgia Hall can do. Elite female sports players back live on our TVs for the first time since the pandemic interrupted. The world's best women golfers are competing in the Open at Royal Troon. Finally, women's sport taking centre stage after coronavirus catapulted it into the rough. Last summer, women's sport was on a high. Even netball got rare TV airtime. While crowds and investment soared thanks to the Women's Football World Cup. But unlike the men's game, no elite women's football has been played in England since March. So how long might it take to rebuild the momentum? The woman just named as England's next head coach told us she's optimistic. Do you think that... The women's football will be thrown back now because of COVID. I don't think so. I think we are beyond that stage and women's football will still grow. Bristol City women are eagerly awaiting the return of matches next month. As in many parts of society, the COVID crisis has been catastrophic for cash flow. We definitely need more income and more finances, you know, more support and investment because we want the game to get more professional. We want the girls to turn up and feel like all they need to concentrate on is football. A World Cup winners! England's women cricketers won the World Cup before the men managed it. But a report by MPs accuses the government of neglecting women's sport during lockdown, warning the lack of visibility this summer risks reducing funding and participation. But Dame Heather Rabatz, who's involved in negotiating broadcast deals for women's sport, is confident. I think it potentially can come back stronger. This is a first-time opportunity for many of the women's sports to gain a media rights position in the marketplace they have never had before. I do think there is real hope for the future. The kite surfing going on. So it seems with the passion still present among those competing, watching and investing, women's sport remains on the right trajectory. Rebecca Barry, ITV News.